All right, guys, went well, back today with a completely updated Sealy Optics code list, and that will be in the description below, as well as a lot of Amazon links to my favorite Sealy Optics, depending on what platform you want. So if you guys already know what Sealy Optics about, and you were one of the ones asking me on Instagram and Patreon for an updated codes list, you can head right to the description below and try them out and see which one that you want to use on one of the Sealy Optics. There's a ton down there, so you won't be disappointed and if you guys are unfamiliar with Sealy Optics I've been reviewing them from the beginning with their original T10. They also released a T3 which were both kind of rifle style red dots then they transitioned to a lot of pistol red dots and they've become really not just my go-to high value and budget red dot setup but really some of my go-to just red dot setups in general for a wide variety of platforms. They've really bridged the gap between affordability and quality, and they've done it like no other company I've seen in the optics market. They are completely sold on Amazon right now, so you can find those with free prime shipping, which is another nice touch. And if something does happen with your order, you can deal with Amazon's customer service, which is pretty decent compared to some other companies. One of the first things I wanted to mention about this codes list and these optics, a lot of these optics are also on sale right now. So the codes work on the sale optics. So it's a good opportunity if you were looking at any of the Sealy products to grab something right now and save yourself a ton of money. I did mention this in a video a little while back in one of the Friday dealer videos where we did the 50 BMG versus the Toyota Tundra, but I have a couple more added because there's a few new optics, including this guy right here. This is probably one of the ultimate red dots for an RMR cut style platform under $160, and that's because of the discount code. These generally sell for $220, and they're worth every penny of that. This is the Wolf Pro. It gets insanely bright down at the range. It's got a side battery compartment, yet it's one of the most low-profile side battery compartment optics I've ever seen. It does fit the RMR cut. The glass is very clear, pretty large window, a robust design, push button control, auto on and auto off technology, the list goes on and on. Also, if you are running this with normal height sights, you can actually utilize the cut in the rear as an iron sight, specifically designed for that. But this one also is below regular iron sights or raised iron sights. So you can co-witness everything and even if the optic goes down, utilize this. They dropped the price to 193. I've got a 20% off code dropping the price to about 154. And this has become, again, transitioning from just a budget good optic to a truly premium optic that you can rely on, yet still at an affordable price. This one is sitting on top of this Palmetto State Armory dagger. And I've got a lot of videos on the dagger if you want to check it out. Another one that transitioned from just kind of a good value budget optic into a uh, really one of my go-to optics that I'm selecting is the Cat Pro. Now you can see it's almost the exact same pattern just a scaled up size for the Wolf Pro. Now the Cat Pro came first and it utilizes the exact same technology, a lower profile design, a cut in the rear. And as you can see with this cut in the rear, it utilizes the front sight on the SIG P365XL. Since you have to remove the rear sight, this is another nice touch to the Cat Pro. A lot of guys were asking about buying adapter plates to run the Cat Pro on an RMR cut because there was nothing like it in the market that had all of these features for the price but now there is the Wolf Pro. If you were looking at a micro compact 9mm or even 380 that is optics cut with the RMSC pattern red dot, which is generally like the Sig Romeo and a few others like that, this one by far is better in my opinion than those ones I've tried. There's also a discount code for this. It gets insanely bright down at the range. <laughs> I mean, really, really bright. Robust, solid. I've been running thousands of rounds through all of these optics with no issues whatsoever. Honestly, these are so on some of my go-to guns that I'm continuously bringing down to the range and trying things out. Again, I do want to stress that they have a lineup of optics or our optics for rifles. This one is on an AK mount. They've got a ton of different riser setups. So you can do a high profile, a low profile mount design. These also get really bright auto on and auto off technology, super clear, 
clear gas, and they also have waterproof ratings. If you were thinking about getting interested in maybe some of the fully enclosed emitter red dots, the Sealy Bear has become my go-to in that category as well. It's priced cheaper than a lot of others in the market. It's built with the same quality and craftsmanship as some of those others, but honestly, a little bit nicer. This has been rock solid. Again, just very robust. Now, the advantages of a closed emitter red dot over an open emitter red dot are discussed in some of my other videos, but in a nutshell, occasionally debris can maybe get in behind your emitter with a closed emitter like this. Um, that can't happen. Now, the cons of this is it's obviously very bulky, large, it adds reciprocating mass to your slide, so it's, it's a give and take, but Sealy has everything covered. If I was personally buying right now something like the Palmetto State Armory Dagger or something like that 365XL or a Toro GX4, I'm, I'm selecting a lot of Sealy products. I am personally going out and utilizing these on firearms that I trust and rely on. They have... They have really shifted from, and, and honestly, they haven't shifted too much. They always started with making good quality red dots at affordable prices, but with this Pro lineup, the Bear lineup, the T3 and the T10, as well as a ton of other red dots that they have available are truly worthy to be used, not just at the range for plinking, but for every type of scenario you can possibly think of without breaking the bank. Again, all of the information linking to my favorites and codes will be in the description below. And again, thanks to Sealy for sending a lot of these out to the channel for us to try, abuse, and beat up. I really appreciate their support. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.